Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask myself these very surprising questions. <gasps> what is your favorite Diane Ladd movie? That's my mom. Um, I would have to say it's a tie maybe between Martin Scorsese's Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Flo, she's incredible, and Wild at Heart because it's the bravest performance I've ever seen of an actress. Sailor boy! <laughs> <laughs> what is my worst memory with David Lynch? <laughs> um, he had an expression, which has become my favorite thing a director has ever said to me, but the first time he said it, I didn't understand it was a joke, so my feelings were very hurt because I was only 17, where I said, after a take, I said, was it okay? And he said, you'll have them bolting for the fire exits. <laughs> it was so, I got so upset. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> is Jurassic Park a feminist movie? So the original Jurassic Park, is it a feminist movie? I think so. I mean, I, I'm so proud of uh, playing that character, Dr. Ellie Sattler. Um, I can't even quote the line, but it's such a fun line that, what is it? Uh, Man makes dinosaurs, dinosaurs eat man. God creates dinosaurs, God destroys dinosaurs. God makes man. God creates man. Dinosaurs eat man or something. Man destroys God, man creates dinosaurs. And then women, God makes woman. Dinosaurs eat man. Dinosaurs eat man, woman inherits the earth, something like that. Woman inherits the earth. Stevens already always put women in such an interesting uh, and powerful reflective light. That is one big pile of shit. <sighs> She's um, weeks. tenacious. You have no idea. Actress, writer, producer, that's the key. I think so. I think it's the key now for all of us that we make our own stories. So if we facilitate it for filmmakers we love, if we find great material um, and support a new writer, um, Certainly, Reese Witherspoon has, uh, because of her producing, given me two roles in a row that I have loved deeply, and Nicole Kidman. May we do that for each other. I'm trying to find something for myself and Naomi Watts that we produce together. So this is also the way friends are getting to work together. Oh, Renata. Hi, hi. 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 So good to see you. You look adorable. Thank you so much. This is Jane Chapman. She's new here. Hi. Welcome, Renata Klein. Thank you. This is Amabella. Hi. Beautiful dress. How was your summer? It was wonderful. Very busy with the kids and camp. It just um, flew by. Same. How was yours? Yeah? Well, joined the board of PayPal. What was I thinking? <laughs> Adding one more thing to my life. But, you know, oh, hold on. Ah, what is my best memory with David Lynch? Oh, my gosh. Um, Nicolas Cage and I laying in a scene, laying in the bed, Sailor Elula. And David was sitting at the end of the bed. And I have to tell a story about my cousin Dell and cockroaches. And it's a long speech and it's very hilarious. Dale's mama found cockroaches in Dale's underwear. One time she found Dale putting one big cockroach right on his anus. Hell, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I told the story, the entire crew started laughing, and we couldn't get the shot. 
So I'd start it and Nick would laugh, then David would laugh, then the sound man would laugh. And so we did it till three o'clock in the morning and we couldn't get it. So finally, Nicholas was the worst because he kept ruining the scene with the laughing. David put a bandana around his face so I couldn't see him laughing. And he sat at the end of the bed and would squeeze Nick's toe to cause him pain so he wouldn't laugh. And even that didn't work. But my favorite memory is like looking at the end of the bed and seeing David with this <laughs> bandana. But I'd see his shoulders shaking. <laughs> that was a great memory. <laughs> It ain't so funny now, though. Dale disappeared. How is America Cinema doing? How is America doing? We have a lot of work to do. I know. Fuck you. <laughs>